Hello and welcome to my channel, Kelly's Castle. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Today I'm going to show you what I take on family travels in our hand luggage for a four-year-old girl and a seven-year-old boy. We've started off with backpacks this time. We've had five transatlantic journeys as a family and we much prefer backpacks to things like trunkies. Um, both my children are now at an age where they can carry their own goodies, so these are the ideal item. What we did do is we let the kids pick new backpacks, hopefully they'll be more willing to carry their own goods. Um, this is a junior size backpack for my four year old from Smiggle. We made sure it fits her. This is a Minecraft backpack from Primark. And again, it's much bigger, but it does fit my son. What I'm going to start off with is showing you what I packed for my four-year-old daughter. She has a couple of food items in here. She has some Hello Panda biscuits, a little novel LOL surprise egg, I think it's got a couple of sweeties in, and the Freddos. She also has for landing, some just little lollies, doesn't have to be chubba chub. These are great. We use these specifically for landing. If you've got a younger child, things like a dummy, bottle of milk, if you're breastfeeding, feeding your child as you land, we don't ever suffer with bad ears. But also I really like lollies because what happens is when you're flying, obviously the cabin pressure is different from when you're on the ground and in your stomach, things start to expand and you get quite gassy. These are really good as you're coming down to land to help soothe some of the gassiness. They're really good also if you travel and suffer with motion sickness. I love these. Love these. I have polos. I like the minty taste. And especially if I'm feeling a bit queasy, never sick with them. And so I don't have to pack travel sickness pills or give them to my kids. also have not food but drink an empty drinks bottle what we will do is once we're through security we will fill this up at one of the restaurants at the airport Gatwick you can get them filled up in a restaurant for free so got some some activities not too many we have from Tesco's for one pound a key ring make your own key ring if you've got a craft activity Double check if you need glue. These are fortunately little sticky back stickers, so we don't have to worry about prick sticks and glue sticks. From Home Bargains, for about 60, 50, 60 pence, she has a sewing animal kit. A little while ago, we've already had this a while. I bought this when she started school, we've never done it. This is from the works. I got this for a pound. Oh, excuse the cat. It's a Goldilocks and the Three Bears reading book. Educational magazine, educational books probably aren't my daughter's favourite thing to do, but I picked this one. It has loads of stickers. So it will keep her engaged and entertained for quite a while. Let me show you inside. So you've got a little place to put your stickers at the bottom, do a bit of reading, letter sounds. Double check, have a look through it. Do you think it's something your child is capable of doing? If so, pack it. I also recommend sticker books, but make sure you get really good quality ones. Go into somewhere like WH Smith's is your best bet or Waterstones and actually open them up and have a look through. Um, Waterstones normally have a really good selection. I normally let the kids go there, have a look, pick one out. We also have two Peppa Pig magazines. These were just like lying around in her bedroom, untouched. I went through, she's not done one activity, she's taken none of the stickers out. Ideal, I've saved myself six quid probably, two sets of magazines. If you haven't got any magazines lying around, what we would normally do is we would wait to get to the airport and let the, this is a little treat, let the kids pick out their own magazine. Normally steer them in the way of like craft magazines, something that's gonna keep them busy on the plane. She also had a My Little Ponies magazine laying around. She'd done most of the activities in that, but I found this really cool, Snakes and Ladders, and she's really into Snakes and Ladders at school. 
So I just cut this out of the magazine, that's kind of like the size, it went over two pages. But what I did, because obviously it's paper, is on the back I got some kids' craft foam, and I've just pricked sticky back plastic, well, no, I think it's just glue stick, I've just glue sticked it to the foam, scored it with a pair of scissors down the back so it still folds, and she's got a board game. What I've got though, is, see one of these plastic cut parts, these are the sorts of things you get from your takeaway for sourcing. I've got a couple of these, I've got, a, got one of these, I'm going to put a dice in it, so rather than have a dice that's going to roll off your tray, you're going to have a dice that you can shake in the pot, see what the number is, and off you go. Also I haven't got any counters for this, what we use is coins. So we're going to America, we're going to use the quarters and the cents and the dime coins and use them as our little markers. It's a great way for kids to get to know the little currency and all the faces and pictures that are on the coins. A little bit educational. Oh, so let's go back to this. In this little pot, I found from her bead selection, some nice big beads with a bit of the string I've cut off. I've made sure it's the right length for it. She can make herself a little bracelet. Again. It's not cost me anything, it's something we've already had. You really don't need to go and buy new things and ha wrap them up. You know, for a nine hour flight, two children, if I buy them something every hour, even if I go to the pound shop, that's gonna cost me 18 pound for the two of them. Of those one pound toys, do I really think that's gonna last them the whole hour? Probably not. I'm making a lot of work for myself, so I just reuse some of the things we haven't touched at home. So one of the other really cool things I got were these, I'll open them up for you. These are revision cards, I bought them in Tesco. Now tray tables are not very big, they're kind of like the size of a magazine. So by the time you have a colouring in book on the side, so open them up, they're hanging over the edge. When you've got two kids sitting next to each other, you don't have a lot of elbow room. So small items are really good. I thought these were really good. They were under a pound. They're just revision cards, but they've got like different pictures and backgrounds on them, can you see? So let's try and find something different. I thought they were ideal for, my daughter just likes to scribble and write notes, draw little pictures. Thought these were ideal. Great, we're not gonna lose them, the little hangy thing. To go with that, from Home Bargains, we got one of these old schooly multicolored pens. So she can do writing and drawing. Ideal, because at some point on the flight, we're going to need to hunt down a pen to fill in our custom immigration forms. Borrow one of the kids. Not a lot left. Whoop. This really cute little eye mask. She reckons she's gonna fall asleep on the plane. I'm not so help like, I'm not so hopeful, should I say? From Primark, really cute, really soft. I'm very hopeful. She will fall asleep. Now, the really, really important thing, the biggest thing that you're going to need on this flight is your iPad or your tablet and headphones. These are fabulous. These are called, I can't get it right ever, Electa. Electa, is that what it says? Can you see? Let's see if we can get it to focus. These are from Amazon. These are so cheap, and they were doing an offer at the time. It was buy one, get one half price. If you want to know how much these are, I will find out. If you leave me a comment below, I will check it out for you. But these are so good. They're kid size. They're foldable ones, so you can fold them out. But what I really, they're comfortable. I've tried them on. They're a bit small for my head, but these are so soft and squidgy. But what I really love is my kids go through a lot of headphones. These have like corded, they've got a nylon cover over the wire. So what my kids do is they will pull on this end. And they, they even say in the comments, the description, sorry, that these are extra durable. But this bit is, as, here we go, this bit here is so hard. It's gold plated, obviously it's got the nylon, so hopefully these will last them a little bit longer than the normal couple of months. And like I said, we pack iPads. My kids will be really happy. We'll just load on a couple of their favourite movies. Favourite TV series are great because they're only kind of short episodes. It keeps them engaged a little bit longer. 
and a couple of games. The kids' iPads are fairly old, so loading games isn't that easy. They're not very compatible nowadays. But our favourite things are normally CBBS apps. Um, my kids like Mr. Yippity. If you, he has an app. It's more preschool age, like letters and numbers and shapes. Obviously, you see BB's, see BB's Player app, download those ones. Um, we have our own kind of Plex server where we can stream our own videos. We will download them direct to the kids' um, iPads, so store them on there. Really, that's about it. That will be the majority of your flight, will be these ones. So what I will do is I will tidy up and then I will move on to the next backpack for you. Ta-da, like magic, tidied up like normal mums do. Okay, so the same again. We have these Hello Panda little biscuits. For landing, we have the chubba chubba lolly on a stick to suck. And just because he has to be the same as his sister, the little Freddos. He is not, he is seven. He's much more happy to sit down and do things. So he has some same things and some different things. So the same things are empty bottle of water to fill up. Because he wants to be the same as his sister. His own stitch eye mask, eye mask from Primark. Again, so soft and so beautiful. Love these. He has his, let's try it again, Electa headphones. Again, so cool for little boys. Lovely, love them so much. His Tesco's keyring, his craft kit from Home Bargains, his little set of notes that I got from Tesco, and the pen. So here's where it differs. He has from the pound shop Lego. We bought two packs of these. I've already, they say six plus on the box. He's already had one, he had like a tractor. We built it, it works, it's fine. There's nothing worse than having Lego that, Lego that doesn't go together. Or sorry, tech blocks as this is called. Um, so here's pack this. I wouldn't pack it for a four year old or a little kid because they're likely to lose bits in between the seats. Haven't got, my daughter definitely hasn't got the attention span to build one of these, but my son has. He's just, just got into Lego, so that will keep him busy. Oh, I've lost my bag down here. He has only other two extra things. He's really into Pokemon at the moment. Again, this was, how much does it say it was? Ooh, it doesn't have a price on it. This was six pound for a magazine. This was his Christmas present. It's now May, he hasn't touched it. So. Ideal when you're trapped on an aeroplane for nine hours, I might actually get him to go through this. It is, it's a, it is a thick magazine for six pound. It has loads of things to colour in, dot to dots to do. This will keep him busy. It comes with his own pens, stickers and a glue stick. So that is his main, when I'm not watching my iPad, activity. He also is really into word searches. I got this one, 59p from Home Bargains. I thought it was really good. They had a dinosaur one, I think, and I think they had a fairy or maybe a mermaid, something like that. But what was really interesting is you do need to, oh, here we go. They have dinosaur, fairy, and princesses. Again, you really do need to open it up and have a look, because when I looked, here we go. I, I noticed this earlier. It has all the answers in the back as well. How helpful is that? I opened the dinosaur one up for him. That was really tricky. So we've gone with some much more simple words that he can actually do on his own. So again, like the sticker book, it's worth opening them up and having a quick look. One last thing I didn't show you that I do pack, and this is a must, 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 is I pack a pair of shorts and t-shirt. So this is actually his pajamas. And this will actually double up because whoop, we stay at the we stay at the airport the night before. We have a very early flight. So these are his pajamas that he will wear the night before our travel. Game Pokemon, funnily enough. Um, but they are really good if somebody's poorly on the flight and they need to change of clothes. If they spill a drink on themselves, and they need to change of clothes. Definitely shorts and t-shirt. 
Um, my tip also, talking about shorts and t-shirt, is I've packed myself a pair of shorts and t-shirt. Not something that I would normally wear to bed, but it's something that if somebody's sick on me or somebody spills something on me, I'm quite happy to wear at an airport waiting for immigration. Not my normal kind of Disney pajamas. So with that said, I will tidy up and show you my last bag. Here we go, this is my last bag. This is my bag. I don't normally wear a backpack, but part of this journey I'll be traveling alone with my two children. So I'll need my hands three to hold their hands. I'll need to be able to retrieve the luggage off the carousel when we arrive on my own. So not the most fashionable thing I know, but so handy. Now in the very front pocket, I have got my trusty reusable carrier bag. You will want this if anybody's clothes get soiled. A thick carrier bag is ideal without any holes in. I'll let you, you can probably gather why. I also have my own pair of headphones if I am lucky enough on again these. These are from Tesco. I think they're about 20 pounds, a bit more than I, I like to spend. I like a bargain, but Okay, these are again fold up ones. These are by Sony. These are really comfortable. Fully extend. Didn't show you that, the kids ones do as well. On my iPad, I have been holding off on Games of Thrones. I'm missing the first three episodes. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to watch that while the kids are watching their iPads. I don't think I've ever made it through one movie on the aeroplane yet, but can be hopeful. So I have got some kids stuff in here. This first pouch, now this is my favorite hack. I haven't tried this one before. These are, here we are, felt tip pens. Let me just hold them still. These are double ended, because if you have two children, you will find, you probably already know this, that if one wants the red felt tip pen, the other one also wants the red felt tip pen. So I have double ended ones. These are from Asda, I think they're about £1.25. But my favourite thing about this is I have put them in, I, I think some like, maybe some socks or some tights or some knickers and pants came in these. I like these because they have a little hook. So on the back of your table, on the back of your chair, you have your table and you kind of have like a twirly knob to pull the tray down. If you hook that, it's gonna save you so much room Reusable, so you can open them up. The kids can help themselves to the pens, put them back. Easy for sharing. You could use your own felt tip pens, but my advice is go and buy some cheap ones, especially these double-ended ones, because if you're gonna have to pack two lots of yellows, two lots of reds, two lots of views, because the kids don't wanna share. Also, it's really dry atmosphere on the plane. These pens will dry out so quickly. I don't expect them to last much more than this trip. For £1.25, if they're dry and they don't work, I'm not gonna to be too upset about it. But there you go. If you get one of these bags next time, keep hold of it, you might need it. I have some antibacterial wipes. I have been sick far too many times after flying. I'm gonna wipe the tray tables down. I'm gonna wipe the armrests down because they're hard plastic any surface on that plane even in the toilets lots of people are going to use those toilets i can wipe things down before we even touch them and they're good for the holiday as well you never know when you might need them when you're out and about i've got some cowpole six plus melts just in case somebody's got a headache on the flight because it is a very dry atmosphere it will trigger headaches and also make sure you have got enough cowpole for the duration of your flight I have two and I need four, so I've got to pack another two before we can go. Now this, this is expensive. This is an Evian facial spray. This is just the right size for you to be able to take for your security. But these are lovely. It's like I said, so dry on the plane. They are expensive. I think this is over three pound. It is expensive for what it is, but it is so invaluable when you're not feeling great sort of seven hours into the flight. It does really revitalize you. The kids love it. The kids love it because it's very gentle spray mist. Definitely wouldn't fly without it nowadays. Now here comes the fun bit. 
nine hours, it's a day flight, so we will eat breakfast at the hotel or at the airport, but lunch and dinner are on the plane. Um, we've booked kids meals, I've looked at kids meals, my kids are fussy, so we will probably at the airport purchase some sandwiches, but to go along with that you can take whatever food you like. So we have one tub of kind of like Pringle, as does Pringles salt and vinegar, I have like fussy kids like I said, so some original plain ones, I love these tube biscuits what you can do is you can kind of pull out your magazine slot and slide them in and they won't get crushed and people can help themselves on the flight well my whole family will be helping themselves so thoroughly recommend any kind of tube crisps and again like i said you can take as much food as you like through security we have also got some chocolate squares now you'll notice I've packed quite dry foods. Again, I don't want to have anybody with an upset tummy. We are not taking any fruit and vegetables, so we'll probably unfortunately not get our five a day, but there are hefty fines if you go into America with food, uh, fresh fruit and vegetables. I don't want kids accidentally leaving a satsuma in their bag, so we're just not gonna take them. Now, these are mine. These are my Starbursts. I like Sucky sweets for when we land, but on takeoff, I really need something to chew. Starbursts. I'm pretty sure they're 99% just to sit on my nerves on takeoff. But I have a big pack of them to share with the kids. Do have to ration them out because they'll have eaten five before we've even halfway up the runway. My husband much prefers chew its So they're his, they're too hard for me. And not a lot else in there. I haven't packed my iPad yet, but obviously that has me games of friends. But this, my, my delightful husband, bought me the last time we went on a nine hour flight with the kids. As you can see, I had loads of time, and yet I hardly coloured a thing. So, because he spent quite a bit of money on it, I better bring it again. You can see though, as true children do, I started colouring in and they joined in. So 99% reckon whatever child sitting next to me is going to try and get their colouring pens out and help colour it in as well. I took colouring pencils. I'm not going to do that again. It took ages to colour in. I'm going to get their felt tip pens and they can help me colour them in. So that is what I've packed. I have my dear friend here, Peppa Pig. Just wanted to show her to you. She is... My child's a cuddly toy, because they, they like to take a cuddly toy when they go out with them. Peppa Pig has made lots of travels with us, so my daughter's quite used to it. But also, we love Peppa Pig because she has a zip on the back, and she turns into, here we are, oh, oh, oh. give her a little shake, push it back round, you might be able to see what I'm going to do. She turns into a neck pillow. Now, I haven't really found a comfortable way for children to sleep on an aeroplane. Like I said, we've made five journeys, so that means we've done five, well, four night flights. Four, this will be our fifth journey, four night flights. <laughs> there is no real way to get comfortable on an aeroplane unless you've got a couple of seats to lay down on. But this can kind of be bend and pushed to kind of make some sort of comfy pillow for them to prop themselves, their heads up on. Like I said, if this was a night flight, I wouldn't be packing all these activities. I would take the headphones, the iPads, the sweets obviously for take off and landing. I don't tend to feed them on a night flight too much um, because it'd be naturally when their time they'd be sleeping. But I would take this, I would take a blanket. Airlines provide you with blankets normally and pillows but the blanket's not normally quite big enough for the wrap your kid in. So definitely a blanket and a pillow. So I think that's about all. If you like this video again, please give it a thumbs up. This is my first video, so sorry if I've spoken really fast. I was a little bit nervous and I'm trying to fit this in before the school run. If you want to see some more of our travel videos, we're off to Florida, so there'll be some more about staying in our airport hotels and our journeys around Orlando and out onto the coast. If you want to see some more of those videos, 
please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you and bye.